No. Why does it always want to turn? Here we go. Okay. Hey guys. Come on in the kitchen. Okay, cool. There we go. Hey, come on in, y'all. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Okay. Hold on. Got some. I already have some. Some brown rice and quinoa working. Hold on. making some um vegan beef and broccoli okay uh using oyster mushrooms okay oyster mushrooms is like one of my more favorite things to use i love oyster mushrooms so if i can't get creative with them as much as possible then um i will okay i love oyster mushrooms and then we have some broccoli and then a whole lot of other stuff some peppers and stuff that we're gonna put in there okay i am drinking my kombucha again tonight um like i said again the other night don't come out here judging me how i pronounce it it is it, either kombucha or kombucha or kombucha like i don't know okay so i'm just gonna say kombucha because that just sounds right to me all right so we drinking um grape see that right there probiotics okay Probiotics is good for your gut and ladies, it is especially good for our little honey pot. Okay, keep us nice and smelling good and healthy, naturally healthy and all of that good stuff. Okay. Mm. That is so good. It's great. Mm -hmm. And I put in my little martini glass just because I feel like being fancy because it's a Sunday. Okay. And it's good too mm, okay all right so cool so we're gonna make beef and broccoli vegan style okay all right so i'm gonna start with these oyster mushrooms i'm gonna soak them really really quickly just to get any excess dirt off sometimes there can be um a little bit of dirt on there so i'm gonna break them up just like this okay so that um you know it look like beef strips when we get to it all right cut that bad boy right there and i'm just gonna rinse these off in a little bit of water all right this recipe is like so simple and so easy and we really it's not gonna take a lot of time to be quite honest with you so <coughs> excuse me I went on ahead and started um, some brown rice and quinoa to serve this over, okay? Or to serve, yeah, I'm gonna serve this over the brown rice and quinoa. Um, but in the kitchen, you know, everything is about timing. And so I went on ahead and started the brown rice and quinoa because that's gonna take a little bit longer to cook. And hopefully, by the time we are done making this, um, this beef and broccoli and that brown rice and quinoa will be finished okay so i went on ahead and started that now <coughs> oh excuse me with the brown rice with the brown rice and quinoa um so it calls for you know how you make rice and you make put water in it okay so instead of putting water in it i made vegetable broth the other day you can go to my instagram page i think it's on my facebook page too um, you can go to one of my pages, either my Instagram or my Facebook. It's on both, okay? Go to one of my pages, Facebook or Instagram, and um, you will see how I made some vegetable broth. Really, really easy, and it imparts a lot of flavor um, into your food, all right? Instead of just using water, use vegetable broth, okay? Especially if you're making um, like a vegetable or a vegan dish, okay? A, a meatless dish, okay? Um yes bentley get out the kitchen get out the kitchen thank you very much billy know what time it is okay he had my food before so um 
so I made so in my vegetable broth and I do it different every time like you guys know I do a lot of juicing so I use the juice the um, the pulp from the vegetables that I juice with whether it's carrot pulp kale pulp um, spinach pulp whatever kind of pulp I put that into beets I put that into my vegetable broth well not necessarily beets because beets can actually the color of the beets can change the color of the food so I don't do that but carrots and so in this particular one, I have um, I did carrots, I did onions, I did some. I had some zucchini left over from when I did the, that zucchini squash. Um, I put some, uh, I think I put some kale stalks in there, okay? Because the stalk of the kale has flavoring in it as well. Onions, um, uh, celery. I mean, I just really just went through my refrigerator to see what was about to be um, thrown out or needed to be thrown out um, and I put that into the uh, oh hey you know what here we go so I got peppers so I'm actually gonna do something with this what yet I don't know so it's still sitting in my fridge but I have carrots I have peppers some celery like I said the zucchini onions and um, I'm gonna figure something to do with that, okay? I'm um, you can, I mean, if you wanted to, you could put this back into a soup, like a vegetable soup, or um, I mean, the possibilities are endless what you can do with that, okay? When I worked in um, you know, when I worked in the restaurants, then chefs don't like to throw anything away, everything gets used, okay until it cannot be used no more all right so um so yeah so i use the vegetable stock to get this rice and this quinoa going okay and that's going to give it like a whole lot more flavor okay all right so these uh oyster mushrooms okay oyster mushrooms are hard to find I can only, well, okay, so I found, find them at two places. I find them at Whole Foods, and I find them at Sprouts, okay? I don't have a Kroger here in Florida, so I'm not quite sure if um, Kroger carries them. But um, I know Publix does not always, all right? Um, Walmart never. Um, I don't know, the giant up, up, in the, um, up, up north, I don't know if they do it. So I don't know. Um, if like local grocery stores carry them, but the only places that I can really find them is Sprouts and um, Whole Foods, okay? So, I got these from, from Sprouts. Thought I was going to need two, but it looks like I'm only going to need one package, which is cool. Um, which is good. So, that means I can just save those oysters and mushrooms and make something else yummy out of them all right so here's what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna drain drain my oyster mushrooms i'm gonna go ahead and put them in this bowl right here i have my broccoli all right i have you can use if you want to use broccoli out of the um frozen pack you can all right i just like to use fresh ingredients so i'm going to use this broccoli florette that I picked up from the stove all right and I mean you can if you want to leave it it doesn't matter how big or how small you make them um to be quite honest with you but I don't want to put like a whole chunk of broccoli in my mouth so I'm just gonna cut these bad boys down just a little bit okay just like this just cut it in half all right you can leave on as much or as little as the stock as you want to. All right. It won't hurt you if you leave it on there. Hey, you, get out the kitchen. You know better. Out. Thank you. Billy knows what time it is. When he comes in his kitchen, he knows what time it is. And I'm just going to put this in, the, in here with my... With my mushrooms okay all right I'm just gonna cut this down just a little bit bam put it in there like that we might as well add the rest 
and it's beef and broccoli. Okay, cool. What I'm gonna do is, I actually want to saute these up first, but I'm gonna add just a little bit of flavor before I do saute them up, okay? So, um, this is, I found this coconut amino, all right? It's different from the, um, so coconut amino, or just amino acids, period. It um, it gives you some salt, okay? And it's like a, 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 a soy, soy sauce alternative, all right? Um, a soy sauce alternative. So I like this better than, um, than like the Bragg's kind. This is, um, this is coconut amino, okay? And that's just like soy sauce, all right? 73% less sodium than soy sauce, all right? The thing that I like about this is that um, it's made out of organic coconut, all right? So this doesn't have any soy in it. As opposed to the Bragg amino acid, the amino acid um, that has some soy in it. And soy is not always good for us, okay? So um, that's why I like this because it doesn't have soy in it, all right? Otherwise, you could just use a soy sauce, okay? Um, but nothing is, I mean, like, hey, if you want to use the soy sauce, then go ahead. Everything else in here is healthy. You know what I'm saying? So, it ain't going to hurt you. All right. So, I'm going to let that sit in there for a second. I have some garlic. All right. I'm going to use one of these cloves for some garlic. Did they sell me some bad garlic? They sure did. I should take it back, too. All right, well, we're not going we're not going to use a lot of garlic in here because I also have ginger. I'm going to use some ginger. Okay. And uh, this didn't do what I wanted it to do. Come on here, garlic. Come on, come on. There we go. Okay, cool. I'm going to add just a little bit of um garlic in here. Chop that up just a little bit. Throw that in there. Have a little bit more garlic. I want all of it. I want it all. I want it all. And I want it now. All right. Throw that in there. I have ginger. I love ginger. Okay. So, hey, I forgot to tell you guys. Why are you in here watching? Just share it right quick. Okay. Invite somebody else to the party. Okay. All right. Let me show y'all easy way. To peel some ginger, take a spoon. Get a good spoon. Take a spoon and just peel that bad boy. Take the take the skin off of the ginger just like that with the spoon. Okay, it comes right off. All right, just like you would like use a knife to like you know peel the skin off of an apple or something like that. You could use a spoon for this, and it comes right off. I love ginger. I'm gonna put a copious amount of ginger in here. Okay. I'm gonna put a lot of ginger in here. And I also have ginger powder, but I love fresh ginger. So here we go. We got the ginger powder. All right. I'm gonna add some some to that. But then I'm gonna also take I think I need to get my knife bag out. Um, we can use this. All right, I'm gonna take this little thing in my bobby, um, a zester microplane, okay? But I'm gonna take it in, and I'm going to just grate this ginger, this fresh ginger in here. All right. I actually, hold on, you guys. Let me get a better utensil. Because it would have been 
so much better. All right, anyway. So this just grates up, um, grates up the ginger. And I'm gonna add some more when I put this in the pan. I'm gonna add some more ginger to it as well, okay? And then we're gonna add some ginger to the sauce too. It's gonna have a lot of ginger in here. But ginger is a wonderful flavor, all right? A wonderful flavor. Okay, cool. That should be enough. All right, peppers. I have peppers. I'm gonna add peppers to this. Let's see over there. Let me see. I'm gonna add a orange pepper. These are sweet peppers. And I'm gonna add a red pepper. That should be good. All right. Red and orange. Give it some some nice little color. Okay. And I'm just going to slice this up really quickly, really quickly, okay? Bam, bam, bam. These are sweet peppers, all right? I can already, ooh, that ginger smells so good. I love ginger. It smells so good. It smells really good. All right, I'm going to turn my pan on while I'm cutting this up. Now, I'm going to use some sesame oil, okay? Beef and broccoli, ginger, sesame oil. Ooh, do I have some? Hmm, I need to look. All right, so added some sesame oil to the bottom of the pan. All right, I'm going to let that go ahead and heat up just a little bit. I'm gonna look for orange too. I think orange would um, give this, a little squeeze of orange, would give this a nice flavor as well. But I don't think I have any oranges, but I'm gonna double check. And you know, that's just what cooking is all about. You know, as you go along, if you think of something, then add it in there, you know? But I think orange would give it some nice flavor next to that. Um, Next to that ginger. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I have some orange. And I don't, but next time, if you guys make this on your own, then um, consider using some orange, okay? I'm going to put a little bit more in here on top of that. Bam, bam, bam. All right. I have some onion. Y'all know how to cut an onion? Let me show y'all. Like for real cut an onion. Alright. This I call this the butt. Alright. And it's just the other side. Cut it through the butt like that. Okay. Then I'm gonna cut the other side off. Now, from here, depending on what you want or how you want your onion, is how you cut it. Okay? Take the skin off, the outer skin. Now, if I want it diced, which I don't want it diced, then I would cut like little slits, okay? Through here, cut little slits. Y'all see Instagram, see Facebook, okay? I would cut little slits, and then I would cut down, all right? I don't want um, diced onions today. So what I'm gonna do is I cut that butt off, okay? I have this like that, all right? Can y'all see, is that light? I don't know, that ain't better. All right, and I'm gonna start at this end and just work my way across, okay? And I don't want this much onion, so put some back in that bag. Actually, that's good. That's perfect. All right. All right. Let's check the heat on this pan. I think we're good. I'm going to dump my, my onions and stuff in there first. Okay. Let them hit the pan first. My onions and my peppers. All right, I 
have it on medium. I'm going to go ahead and put some. Now, okay, so if you've been here before, I don't have a camera person and I need one. And I'm not going to move Instagram and Facebook over to the other side, okay? So I'm just going to explain to you what I'm doing as I'm going, okay? All right, so here goes. I'm going to take some of this ginger. I'm going to add it over here into the pan. All right, that's cool. We're gonna put more ginger in there. Check on my rice and quinoa. I'm, I'm, it's a little little hood over here. We're using the um, extra extra pan for for top, but that's okay. Make it do what it do, right? Okay, that's that. Now I got that working. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add my broccoli and my mushrooms now, okay? And all of that juice that was in there with it. Now, some pineapple juice would be good in this as well, okay? Um, add a little sprig of pineapple juice and give it some good flavor as well. I'm going to drink. Mm -hmm. Fill back up my, my grape. This is, I, this is the first time I had grape kombucha. And it is so good. And I can drink this. And yes, I am fancy today because it's Sunday. In my martini glass, okay? And that's just absolutely delicious. Okay, so while that is cooking, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a little bit of a sauce, okay? All right, so I have that cooking, so we're gonna make a little bit of a sauce. I'm gonna take this, uh, this amino, okay? And let me see something right quick. Okay. I'm gonna take this amino. I'm gonna put this in there. We're gonna add some, some more ginger. But you know what? This time, I'm gonna cut this ginger up, okay? Let's just chop it up some. I'm gonna add this in there. Oh, I think I got some. Uh, see, see, I just thought of something else to do. That we're gonna do. And that's all of that's what really just cooking is all about, is like making it, you know, your own. Okay, I'm gonna take some more of this um grated ginger, put that in there as well. Okay. I'm gonna add just a tad bit of salt because um this coconut amino is not as salty as um soy sauce would be. Hey girl. So I add just a little bit of pink Himalayan salt, okay? I'm gonna add some brown sugar. Some brown sugar to this. This is probably like the only um, unhealthy part about this is the brown sugar, but hey, it's all good, okay? starch to this because when I add this to the heat all right I want this to thicken up this little sauce right here so we're gonna make this called like a slurry okay and I don't have a I don't have a small whisk so I'm using a spoon 
I mean a fork, but I'm just gonna, I would whisk this in, okay? And this is what's gonna kind of make this sauce thicken up, and then it's gonna coat the um, the rest of the food, the, the broccoli and the, um, the mushrooms, okay? And we're almost done here. Let's just check on our beef and our broccoli, our vegan beef, okay? I'm gonna taste this. Don't forget to taste your food. It's okay to taste. Got a little piece of onion in there. And that's really, really good. That's really good. I want a little bit more ginger. Only because I'm crazy about ginger. But you, uh, if you make this, then season it to uh, your own liking, okay? And I'm actually gonna add just a tad bit more cornstarch to this. All right, so that's called a, that's, when you add the cornstarch to it, that's called a slurry. And I actually, um, you know, you can actually set some aside and add just a little bit of cornstarch to it and then pour it into the, the hot mixture. But um, we're just gonna add it all in there today, okay? Cause that's just what I want to do. All right. Sip on some kombucha. If you got something to sip on, go ahead and sip on it, okay? Oh, we're making um, vegan beef and broccoli, okay? So, hey Preston. So, um, just a recap. All right, what we what we got going over here? In the pan, I have some sesame oil. All right, and I think I might put some more. Uh, you know that sesame oil. Y'all ever had sesame oil? It smells so good. Uh, we don't need any more, but we're gonna put some in the in anyway. Okay, so um, in the pan, I have some beef and some oyster mushrooms. Okay. We soak the or the beef and the ocean mushrooms in a little bit of amino. I use coconut amino instead of um, the Bragg's uh, brand amino. This doesn't have any soy in it, okay? Um, we have some garlic in there. We had, what else do we have? Amino, garlic. I don't think I put any salt in there, okay? Um, and ginger, all right? We have that over here cooking with some onions and some peppers. Okay. Now, believe it or not, even though oyster mushrooms is like one of my more favorite things to eat in replace of meat, I really don't like mushrooms. Okay. So if you wanted to add some other other uh, um, type of mushrooms in addition to this, by all means, do so. Okay. Um. All right. So then I made a little uh, little sauce that we're gonna put over this in just a few minutes, okay? <coughs> we have it over there cooking. The sauce is more amino, all right? We have ginger. We have fresh ginger cut up in there, okay? And I put a little bit of salt in there and put some cornstarch to thicken it up once it hits the heat, all right? So, and then we have working on the side, some brown rice and some quinoa to put it all on top of, okay? All right, so let's go check on our beef and broccoli. Let me let me clean up. I hate like having a mess. So if you've worked at a restaurant before, you know, um, they're real particular about you keeping your station clean. I mean, and you know, which is a good thing. So, you know, that's kind of just like carried over. All right. Now, I just made a big mistake, but oh well. So I have these broccoli florets over here, right? I can put these away. And you remember I was telling you I made the um, the brown rice and the quinoa with vegetable stock, okay? I can uh, put this put this in a Ziploc bag, put it in the fridge, along with the uh, the tips of the onions that I took off, okay? And I actually threw the tips of those peppers away, which I should have kept them, but build all of that up, okay? 
and um, use it for vegetable stock. All right, so that's actually what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna put that to the side and I'm going to use all of that for a vegetable stock. Uh, probably, I don't know, when I get enough vegetables, okay? Probably be about another week. So just make some. All right, let's check on our beef and broccoli. Hold on, look, okay, so we are on Instagram now and Facebook at the same time. And I told y'all I don't have a camera person, so y'all gonna have to bear with me because I'm gonna go over here right quick. And I'm gonna come back, okay? Cause I'm I can't move Instagram and Facebook at the same time. All right. So we are looking good over here. So I'm gonna bring this over here. See, we're looking good, okay? Beef or the mushrooms, the the uh, the oyster mushrooms, the uh, peppers, onions, broccoli. <clears throat> I'm going to add this with the cornstarch to it, okay, to thicken it up. We're going to put this back on the stove. Let that thicken up, and then our, our rice should be done. Our quinoa and brown rice should be done. Okay. There we go. Mix that all together. Mix that up. All right, I'm put this back on the stove and watch this uh, thicken. That cornstarch is gonna is gonna thicken everything up. All right. I still have it on like a medium heat. Okay. And here goes our our quinoa and brown rice. I'm gonna try this. To make sure that it's done. How you know it's done when it don't taste like it's raw and hard, okay? <laughs> Bentley, come on now. He is so disrespectful, y'all. Bentley is so disrespectful. Bentley, be quiet. Bentley, come on. Come on, Bentley. I'm on live now. Come on, chill out. Uh, get out the kitchen. You know better. Go, go get your bone or something. Go get your toothbrush. He has a doggy toothbrush. Go get your toothbrush, Bentley. He hears somebody out the door, outside the door. Okay, that's done. It hurts so good. Mm. That tastes really good. It has a lot of flavor, and all I did was just add that vegetable, that vegetable stock to it, and then, um, so I got, I got, I actually used this out of a box. Okay. So I just added that seasoning that comes along with the box. All right, and so I'm gonna show y'all this. You see how with that cornstarch in there, it got a little, it's thickening up, right? Which is exactly what we want. So I'm gonna let this cook just a little bit longer because I want it to get a little thicker. Don't tell nobody. Uh, I don't think my uh, can opener is working. Don't tell nobody, but I have some canned pineapples, okay? They were all the way at the top. I usually don't use canned stuff. Let's hope this can opener works, because the last time I tried it, it didn't. It ain't working. Doggone it. I want a little bit of, of pineapple juice. So we just gonna... Negro rig it right quick, okay? So I can throw some pineapple juice up in here. Y'all know how we got to do it sometimes. And I need to go buy me a new uh, can opener. Bam, I knew I had some sesame seeds. Okay, 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 okay. I'm getting excited now. 
And then before we pull everything off, I have some green onions that I'm going to put on top as well. Billy, get out of my kitchen. Get out, boy. All right, I'm going to cut these up right quick. Put this on top with a little, oop, with a little bit of sesame seed. All right, here we go. I want to show y'all this. All right, see how, see how it's nice and nice and thick now. All right, can y'all see that? Nice and thick, that sauce. All right, that's what that cornstarch did. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, look at it. Ooh, it looks so. Ooh, I ain't gotta take it nowhere. Right here. All right. Got my mush, my oyster mushrooms in there for for my beef. Here, I'm gonna show y'all. Give me a fork. Somebody give me a fork. Okay. This is my beef. Y'all see that? Okay. That's my beef. All right. That oyster mushroom. This is my broccoli with peppers and onions. Ooh, it look good. It smell good. And guess what? It's gonna taste good. Okay. All right. Turn that off. All right, we're gonna throw a little bit of green onion on top, just like that. And then I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of sesame seeds, just like that, okay? And because I love ginger so much, I'm just gonna take just a little bit and sprinkle some more ginger on top, just like that. And here we have our vegan beef and broccoli, okay? All right, so here we go. Move this out the way. Here we go. Okay, Facebook, I show Facebook first. Oh, look at that. Look at that Facebook. Oh, yeah. Oh, smells so good. And then, okay, you got that Instagram? Oh, alrighty. It looks so good. Okay. Now, for the moment that we all love so much, you and your ginger. Girl, I love ginger. Okay. I don't, I, I don't like mushrooms either, girl, but I would eat an oyster mushroom, okay? Because, I mean, you, you can make it taste like meat, okay? Mm. All right. Let's load up the last little bit of kombucha in here. Oh, this is great. I bet you some ginger. <laughs> I'm not going to put no ginger in there, but I bet you some ginger curls would be good in here. All right. Let's just get the last little bit. Yes. Okay. Cheers, all right, to a good Sunday dinner. Let's dig in. Put it down. Y'all can see in a second. Ooh, I just don't know where to start. Like, where to start right here. I want to get a mushroom, and I want to get some broccoli. Okay. And some of that quinoa rice looks hot. Kill so 
some music. Where is the music? Bentley. Go turn some music on. That thing right there, baby, is good. Okay. Woo wee. This is so good. This is so good. Mmm. That is so good. That is so good. <sighs> okay, I'm about to get off of here because I'm ready to eat. But that right there is good, y'all. Add a little bit more, more green onion to it. Okay, well, there you have it, you guys. Vegan beef and broccoli. It tastes so good. Drink y'all some kombucha this week, okay? With probiotics in it. See the probiotics, okay? Probiotics. It's good for your gut, right? And ladies, good for a little honey pot. Keep it nice and healthy naturally, all right? Y'all, I'm gonna go eat because I'm not gonna smack in y'all face because I was told that was rude. But this th this thing here is good, okay? Uh, you can catch the replay from the very beginning. Facebook, you can catch it on my page. Instagram, you can catch it on my page as soon as I post it. All right, y'all? As always, <clears throat> thank you for joining me in Keija's Kitchen where we are learning to get healthy but still keeping the food good okay because i can't eat i can't sit around and eat like i'm trying to get healthy i done lost i was 230 pounds y'all 230 pounds i'm down to 208 okay and i'm trying to get the rest of these pounds off within the next these eight pounds super easy within the next month okay um and then i have a goal of 150 so i did all of that simply by switching up my diet okay i stopped eating the good old southern food the fried chicken y'all know Publix got some really good fried chicken but i had to let that go okay and um i just had to get you know get healthy i'm not vegan i tell y'all i'm plant-based vegetarian, okay <laughs> because I, i'm non-dairy but um I still gotta have my seafood. I still gotta have my crabs. I had crabs for my birthday. So I had shrimp, lobster, like clams, like mussels, and sky. I, I gotta have all of that still, okay? Um, so we just gonna call it plant-based vegetarian, all right? And that's what that's what we doing over here. But um, for the most part, I've cut up beef, pork, and uh, chicken, and we gonna make this thing, um, you know, as vegan-ish and plant-based vegetarian-ish as we can, okay? So come on over to Kitchen's Kitchen. Share the videos, invite your friends so we can all get healthy together. Um, you know, it's important to just be healthy, especially in these times. Okay, we gotta make sure our body is able to fight off, um, you know, what's going on. All right, so let's get healthy together. All right, I'm gonna see y'all later. I'll be back this week with another dish. Um, but in the meantime, I'm gonna go eat this and enjoy it. and just oh, enjoy how good this is thank you for joining me in kitchen's kitchen one more time see y'all later bye